What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. We are on a new project. How about that last one? Did you guys check that out? It was pretty wild. This one's a little bit more subdued, but it's still got some really, really cool details. And we have to be pretty precise with our framing here. So in this vlog, I'm gonna show you some tips on how to lay out the framing and a couple tricks to make the whole process go a little bit easier. So make sure you hit, make sure you hit, make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned. Okay, so we have our ledger board up. I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail on this layout and making noises. Look at him, he's got his new belt. He bought an expensive belt, now he thinks he rules the world, which he does. So, we have our ledger board here already installed, and what we're gonna do to figure out our post heights, so here we have the zip level. We've zeroed it out right there. This is a pretty cool tool, I've showed it a lot, but uh, I don't really understand how it works, but I can just go from here, to here, we've got 47 and 3 eighths, and I know that I need to come down 20 and a half off the top of the ledger to the bottom of our seat cut on our six by six. So do that math there, and it's uh, 26 and 7 eighths. So that's how far we need from the bottom of the six by to the bottom of that seat cut. So now I can just go around. All right, so I got 43 and a half. We have 20 and a half for our joist and our beam. So that equals 23. 23 inches for number two. 22. All these numbers are upside down and 18 and a quarter. So we got one more. You pretty much get the idea here. The zip level makes it really easy so we can get those six by sixes set, set our beam on there and it's right where we need to be. It takes a lot of the guesswork out, which is really nice. We got our beams in, we got our post notched, and this is sitting on here. We're gonna have to cut off a little bit of the top of this post, but what we're gonna do, because we always order the joists according to height, so this is a two by 10, so it'll be like nine and a half down to nine and a quarter. What we're gonna do instead of that this time, so we're notching this joist, and we're measuring down nine inches, and we're gonna cut all of them where they sit on the beam, so all the way across, these will all be at the same height. Now we'll still have some crown that we need to adjust with a planer, but I think this is gonna make it a lot easier and it's gonna give us a pretty dang flat place to start. So we're gonna get set up over there. Ant is marking things out. Two and nine inches. There's a mark here for nine consistently. Boom. Now we've got all the joists in on this 20 by 16 area. And you can see how we just notched these all to nine inches from here to here. And look at this. Flat. It's super flat. This worked even better than I thought. I'm like really amazed. This looks really, really good. What do you think? New, new practice? New practice. New practice. I like that. So we got a lot of this framed out. Pretty much all of it's done. I'm super happy with how these joists turned out. They're so flat. And what we also tried on this job, you can see here our blocking. We used two by eights and we held it down from the top. That way it's not gonna interfere with our clips. And it's also not gonna interfere with us trying to plane this down, which kind of gets annoying sometimes. So that is looking pretty good. I need to pick up a couple more pieces for in here. What I really wanna focus on 
is the building of this pergola. We've gone over deck framing a million times. I haven't really dove into the pergola framing. So we've got the siding ripped off there and then I'll show you what we have going on, how we've prepped this out to make it as easy as possible. So here is our ledger. And what Ant did was notch this out. That's gonna receive our siding and it's gonna kind of act as a J channel. So we're going to black stain here. It's gonna look really, really sweet. He also notched out the sides. Those are gonna accept the siding on the sides. See where it's going up there. And but we've also got, what do we got here? Cotton posts. Cotton posts. So we got six by six posts going here and we've just notched them out. This is gonna receive our beam on the front. So these get mounted here. Once we get those installed, then we can put up the ledger board, we can put up the beam, and the rest of it, Pat's gonna stain up in the air because that's how he likes to do it. So we're cutting this down to size. We'll get that installed, and I'll show you how it's going as we get it up. As we go up, as it goes up, we're gonna do it. Whoa! See if Josh can carry this big boy. He's been working out. Oh, there he goes. Watch out. It's a lot more fun to just film you than help you. Good job. You're getting so strong. Thanks, Alright, let's see if Ant can lift this bad boy. Easy peasy. It's our second post going up. So you can see we already have the ledger board attached. We got this post up and we have it notched here to accept our beam. It's looking real nice and we put a two inch pitch on this because we will have a pergola cover going on it. We've got this sitting right on top of the beam and it's also lagged in here. So it's locked in for justice, looking really good. So once we get these up, we can throw our beam up here put our hangers on it and start doing our rafters. How you making out there, buddy? Okay, jamming now. Hey. What's going on? I don't know, what's going on? Not what's much. Going on? Hey, yeah. Got some staining going on here, it looks like. Yep. So we had a little change of plans. We decided to stain all this stuff on the ground first. Why did we do that? I don't know. It, it just might make it a little easier to install later. So we're staining all this stuff. We have some two by tens, which is gonna be our beam and our rafters are two by eights. Having a good time? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. So Pat's gonna stain all these up. We also have a bunch of two by twos, which are gonna go on top, which have been freshly sanded, looking beautiful. So he's gonna get all these stained first. We're gonna jump on all this fascia trim, bang that out while Pat's getting the staining done. And then tomorrow morning, we can hop right onto the pergola. All this will be pre-stained. It'll all be good to go. Always jumped on this fascia, banged it out super quick. Look at that, all done. Pat got this beam stained in the air. And Ant, what are you working on now? The Whoa, geez, I almost fell. Installed in the concealed bracket. Brackets. It's a nice looking bracket there. Very nice looking bracket. It's a lot better than those ugly joist hangers. Yeah. Okay, so I'm putting these out. Same as those. And then with him pre staining those. We just cut those and they sit in here. There you go. So we'll get all these joist hangers up here. We'll have all that stuff stained. So that once it's dry, we can just pop them up in there. Bing, bang, boom. Yeah, and I'm using longer screws in here. So as I'm putting the hangers on, it's screwing the beam together so there's no visible screws. That's a good idea. It's a great idea. I didn't think of it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Boys are working on finishing up the last bit of blocking. Because what are we going to do tomorrow? Uh, 
Motley Field Boards. Woo! This is gonna be a bar here. We'll talk about that later. It's coming together. We also have a new friend here. He keeps coming around. Pat, what's his name? Copernicus. <laughs> Copernicus keeps checking us out. A lot of decks went up in this development and I think he knows this one's gonna be the best, so he wants a front row seat. Hey, buddy! You would know that Copernicus is the name of Dr. Emmett Brown's first dog when Marty travels back to 1965 before he had Einstein, which was his second dog. Well, that's it for this vlog. Hope you enjoyed that first four days on this project. We're gonna jump into the pergola a little bit more on the next one and should have that wrapped up. But we got a lot more coming up on this. We got some really cool details on the pergola. We got a crazy column detail that we're gonna do. So make sure you hit subscribe. And until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living.